The Chicago Bears just got the worst possible news. I'm going to break that down for you guys in this video. If you haven't subscribed and you like the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. This Packers-Bears rivalry has been such a fun matchup to watch throughout the years, but not if you are Chicago dating back November 6, 2019 to November 6, 2024, where the Bears find themselves 0-9 on the brink of being 0-10, the Packers looking to add to that total. I don't see anything standing in the way of that or getting in the way of that, especially with the latest news coming out of Green Bay, which happens to be the worst possible news. If you are a Bears fan, you can see it highlighted right there. Jordan Love is fully healthy after Packers bye week, which means he was a full participant in practice uh, uh, yesterday, which is bad news if you are the, the Bears because – Jordan Love, for us Packer fans, we really haven't seen a full, healthy, full tilt Jordan Love since week one against the Philadelphia Eagles, where he threw for 260 yards, two touchdowns in that interception. Hopefully he can wipe away that interception. I think this is going to be a game that is going to be a momentum shifter for the Packers and their season. They are already six and three. Last year, they were three and six at this point in time, but this Packer team, I think is better than last season. I think they're going to build on this momentum that they gain from a win against the Chicago Bears. The Packers are also getting back Jair Alexander, who is limited in practice. Josh Myers, limited in practice. Evan Williams, limited in practice. That is great news for Packer fans, but bad news if you are the Chicago Bears. Why is that? Well, let's take a look defensively what they allowed, um, what, their, what the offense allowed uh, last week. If for the Bears, third down efficiency, one of 14 for Chicago. That is dreadful, very bad. You send some pressure on Caleb Williams. And what you're seeing Caleb Williams do right now, he's playing absolutely scared. You can see almost where coaching has coached any instincts or any aggressiveness out of Caleb Williams. It's almost as though they've said, hey, dude, listen, what we want you to do is just protect the ball. Don't turn the ball over. Take a sack if you have to. Let's let's lean into the defense. Let's rely on our defense. So this dude is not taking any risks, trusting his arm whatsoever. One of 14 on third down efficiency. He's taken nine sacks last week against the New England Patriot defense. I think Jeff Halfley is going to have an absolute heyday. I think he's going to send pressure up the middle on the edge. I think he's going to send pressure from everywhere, putting the same amount of pressure on Caleb Williams, forcing him to get in that fetal position, take the sack. When you look at Caleb Williams, and this could be the shift of momentum shifter for the Chicago Bears in a negative way too. They are already 0-3 over the last three games, but they haven't scored a touchdown. I don't see them scoring a touchdown against the Packers defense. You might think I'm crazy for saying that, but I do think this Chicago Bears team is just unraveling before everyone's eyes. You take a look at Caleb's, Caleb Williams' last three games. No touchdowns, no interceptions, no touchdowns, no interceptions, no touchdowns, no interceptions, you know, 120 yards, 217 yards, 131 yards, being super ultra conservative with his throws. Almost as alarming as the no touchdowns there is the no interceptions. What do I mean by that? Well, the dude isn't taking any risks. He's not trusting his arm, which means he's he's just playing ultra safe, conservative football that's as alarming of a stat as the zero touchdowns in my opinion he is not taking any chances any risks i didn't think this dude was going to be a um a productive nfl quarterback and i still stand by that coming into the nfl i think you look at bo nix you look at jj mccarthy you look at Jaden daniels I think all those quarterbacks are going to have way more successful seasons than caleb williams so great news for the Packers. They get back Jordan Love, but he is fully healthy. Not just that, they get back some other guys that are going to play an instrumental part in adding to the zero touchdown column for the Chicago Bears on defense. You get Jair Alexander, Evan Williams. Leave your comments. Let me know, are you guys as excited as I am? Bad news for the Bears. Great news for Packers. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go back, go.